Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Imperion. Getting ready to do some stuff. First off, I want to thank everybody for all of your comments and helpful ideas that you've been throwing at me. They are they are awesome, guys. They really are. Um there is a couple of things that I did mess up in doing and that y'all did point out, and I am thankful for that. Um, let's see here. We need... What do we need? I need an O2 generator. Well, a water generator in this case. We need to get that made. That way I can start getting some oxygen on the go. Okay, we got that. Let's go ahead and get that put down like right now. Because <laughs> I do need it. Okay, we got that. Let's see. Do I have... You know what? I got a... Well... What are we looking at on fuel here? Um, Where is my... Oh, there it is. I was about to say, where is my stack of fuel? You know what? Let's just throw in four for right now. We're just going to throw in four. We're going to let that run. I'm going to be a little bit conservative with what we got here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off. Because I don't want to get too crazy with anything now. Alright, so... We got the ship to work on. Uh... Yeah, I gotta see what all parts we have real quick. Alright, so we got a couple of thrusters here. We got a little bit of stuff there. Where did I not... Ah, we did not unload this yet. Okay. Okay, good. Haha. -ha. All right, so we got a little bit of stuff now. Um, I do have four of these. Um, kind of thinking. Let's see. Let me see what I can make real quick. Um, if three small vessel RCS oh we don't have any points because we're still level five okay so that is one of the priorities we got to get done is I do got to get that okay can I no we cannot do a harvest module because I ran out of points Okay. <sighs> so that is the thing that I need to focus on is getting that level. So we got a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of food. Well, we got, we got enough. I don't have to worry about it right now. But I do think I need to get over here. And basically, we just need to pick stuff Um the more stuff I can pick, probably the better, is what I'm thinking. I mean, yes, getting wood is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it just, it takes a little bit more. A little bit more effort than walking up and hitting F. So we are going to do that. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering, I do have an EVA on, and I do have a radiation boost on. And, yeah, I've kind of... 
I, honestly, I've been a little bit scatterbrained on this playthrough. I do apologize, but it's not going too bad. We're just going to keep grabbing things. Actually, where are... Coffees do a little bit of stamina. Give me those bad boys. You just start crafting those. I wonder what happens if we drink too many energy drinks. I wonder if our dude gets jittery. Oh, that'd be so funny if he got jittery. Where are we at on... Eh, we're almost there. But yeah, I do like the idea of using... Uh, using the little HV to get a harvest module to get the wood so that we can get um get a bunch of wood and there is level six all right so we're gonna try that real fast let's go to the hover actually we've learned it no we haven't I'm gonna spend just a few points there on that I'm gonna spend a couple points on these things unlock those small thrusters Yeah, I'm not even worried about that. Alright, back to the ship. So now we're level 6. I think we still need to get to level 7 before we can really do a whole lot. I don't know if the warp unlocks at 7 or if it's at 10. Uh... Either way, we're going to get at least level 7 before we leave the planet. Because we do have a few things that I'd like to try to accomplish. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike there. Alright, so, so far it doesn't seem like there's any negative side effects of just chugging down these, uh, these energy drinks. I, I kind of was thinking that it would give me, you know, indigestion or some kind of, like, panic attack or, you know, something from drinking, you know, three or four of these suckers, but it doesn't seem like it. So, I'm just going to keep on using them. Yeah, if it hasn't given us any sort of weird, weird side effect after this many, I don't think it will. Alright, we got that. Let's go ahead and get back to the crashed cockpit. stop any second now this thing 
Alright, actually... Well, turn the power back on. No O2 in the tank. I'll just drop a couple more in then. There we go. Eh, that one's not looking too bad. Okay, so I need to come over here, turn you on, and let's make a harvest module really fast. Actually, I'm going to need a harvest module, and I'm going to need an actual ore box. Uh, did I learn the ore box? I bet you I did learn it. Um, there it is. And then... And then one of those. Okay, so I got that. And where was the other one? Um... There it is. Yeah, let's put that for right now. It doesn't really matter if it's a container controller or an ore box. They really act the same. Um, unless they haven't fixed that glitch to where everything doesn't weigh proper in them. But I think they might have. Alright, we're just going to slap that right there. Most definitely, definitely going to slap that right there. Um, let's see, I need you back, and give me that, you just keep making biofuel for a little bit. Alright, let's go over here and harvest a little bit of trees. And we're going to see some things. Yep, we do get experience for it. Alright guys, I'm going to cut down a few of these trees. I will bring y'all back in just a moment. Okay guys, we are back. <clears throat> and I am hitting some oxygen deals real quick behind the cryo thing. Uh, <laughs> we got a little bit of wood here. Just a little bit. Alright, let's see here. One, four, five. Four, seven. There we go. Get a couple bottles off of that. No. Whatever that was, quit it. Like so. 
good. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy back up. And let's take a look inside. We have 212 logs. And at a maximum, I think, of three logs a tree. And we've got a few trees cut down. We have most certainly got a few trees cut down. Okay, let's stop right here. Yeah, it's all the same. Okay. So anyway, we're not doing too bad here, guys. Trying to kind of comb back over the areas that we've already been. Like this one and pick up the, uh, pick up the resources that we've missed. Okay, so we need to go back where? Where is the crashed cockpit? There it is. Actually, what is our level at? Oh, we are so close. We need 1,200 points. Or we need about 20-something trees. And I completely, totally obliviated that forest over here. I think we're going to stop for a moment. Like, literally, we're going to stop. <laughs> Give me that. Okay. So, let me connect to you. Use your hotbar. Throw all of that off in there. Just keep making. Actually, give me, like... Me like 16 of those for over here. We're just gonna throw all this in there. Let's go ahead and eat these two snacky bars. Alright, so that got our food back up. Our oxygen's not looking too bad. Uh, <clears throat> we got several things in there. Let's see. What can I build now while we're sitting here? Um, we can't build a whole lot of stuff. Let's see. I do want to get... See? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because the first thing I want to do is I want to get that uh, warp drive and warp tank. I want that as my priority... I want to try to avoid building a rocket sled, guys, but I do know that if it ends up becoming like that, it will, you know, we'll do what we got to do, basically, is what I'm saying. So, if we have to kind of rocket sled it, well, we'll rocket sled it if we have to. I'm going to try to avoid that, though. I really am. Don't turn when I hit you. Alright, we got a little red thing on our detector over here. Let's kind of cruise on through this. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. Here's a few more trees. Alright guys, I'm going to grab these trees and then I'm going to continue going north. Uh, well, northwest. 
I will bring y'all back if I find anything interesting. Okay, guys, so I discovered a couple things. One, a supply cache. Two, a military supply cache. And another junkyard. I believe these are all, yeah, these are all new. Aha! These are all new. Nice. Very, very nice. We're going to live a little bit longer here. Um, also, I did find out I got I got my level and I can't do the warp yet. I am going to unlock that. I am going to unlock that constructor and the detector because I do think those are necessities. I need that medium thruster. Out of everything, I need that medium thruster. Oh, no, not that box, this box. But yes, we shall get a few things. Oh, and I needed to check something else out. Hold on, let's get... Let me get those. And these, okay. So, someone was saying, and I can't remember names, guys. I do apologize. I try to remember y'all's names when it's possible, but somebody was telling me to try to blow try to blow the core up with the C4 on these alien things. I think it's going to destroy everything, though. Or it's not. No, we cannot hurt the alien core on these. So... Don't even try, I guess. Because that should have blown it straight up. Alright, let's go to the military cache. Boom. We'll just run into things. You know that thruster I have on me? It's for an SV. Okay. I was curious, because I'm like, if that's an HV thruster, I really need to put that thing on there, so we'll quit running head first into things. Once again, different kinds of ammo. shotgun kit that'd probably be nice I think we're gonna end up building a shotgun before we leave just so that we have some sort of weapon on us um, you know what let's go ahead and let's go ahead and eat the energy bar why not and we'll take one of those All right, that bad boy is done. Junkyard, let's go see what the junkyard has to offer. Now, someone else was telling me about these junkyards and I haven't checked it out yet, but we're going to right now. See, this is what happens. I record two or three videos ahead because I have a busy weekend and then y'all tell me all this stuff and I come back and we do it all in one video guys so don't ever think that I'm ignoring anyone if I don't uh, do what you say or suggest in the next video because I do I do do things like this this is this is quite normal for me um, you know what let's go ahead and do that now two things one it says we cannot, no permission to modify this structure. Okay, so if we P menu, we cannot P menu. Okay, guys, so that is incorrect. Um, it is not letting me place a core. It is not letting me. It's not letting me access the P menu, so I cannot access all the boxes from 
my HV and just do it the easy way. Unfortunately, I thought that was the case with this one. And it does seem to be like that. So y'all got to remember, this is a custom built scenario. And the person that built it did change a bunch of the standard POIs. So they don't act like your normal POIs do. So if you could do that in a regular junkyard, there's a good chance of that. But you can't do it here with this junkyard. But that's okay, though. I don't mind checking and testing things. So if you have thoughts, ideas, suggestions, anything like that, guys, be sure to tell me. Because like I said, I will, I will mess up. I guarantee you I will mess up at some point. And I'll either forget something, kind of like the uh, oxygen generator. I completely forgot that I should have been using that. Um... I'm not going to dig all this. I just want to make sure there's nothing. Why are you... Because there is something there. Okay, I was like, why is it acting like there's something there? Because there is. But yeah, always, always ask or tell me, guys. Because y'all are awesome for all of the help you'll, that you give me. Um... I don't know if I want to take that or not. I mean... Eh... Might as well. It's 200. get any tier twos do we no I keep hoping that one day we'll find a tier two Shotgun kit. All right, just making sure. Like these are buried. Yep. Nice. <laughs> that's that's very nice. Twenty five more fuel packs. Oh, that is so nice. So so nice. Um, let's test it. Let's try to blow the core here and see what happens. Maybe I can blow the core and replace it. We'll try. Ooh. I was incorrect, guys. See, I, that's... Mm -hmm. That's why I kept looking. That is why I kept looking. Okay, so we can now P-menu... Ha <laughs> ha, we can P menu. Nice. That is so, so nice. Oh, and they even got the boxes numbered. Yeah, so I was incorrect in that statement. Find the core, blow the core, use your own core, and then P-menu. 
And to whoever that was that had uh, told me about that, I do apologize and thank you for it. It just took me a minute to get it figured out. But yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, there's just a ton of boxes here. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you I probably did miss something at the other junkyards like this because there's just so many. I wish I didn't have to scroll that scroll down each time I opened it again. No, wrong box. Let's see, we were there. Well, we're on the three. Yeah, I guarantee I did not find that many boxes. That's so cool, so frustrating. I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to start using all these little constructors, all these portables back at the base to, uh, to biofuel and stuff with. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to take the bike. We got enough bikes. I will take you though. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish checking this out because obviously we got a lot of stuff here, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel to the video and to the game itself guys and as always feel free to share the video on any social media you're using you guys just like to stop take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful awesome support all the comments all the likes all the subscribers and all the videos shared guys it is awesome and i do appreciate it and with that being said uh, until next time survivors keep on surviving.